Welcome back to the channel. On the week I went Newcastle pulled Sheffield United's pants down. Brighton and Villa continue their good start to the season and honours even in the North London derby. Let's get into the action. Let's do it. Right, kicking things off then, it can only start in one place. Sheffield United, Newcastle, 8 nil. Yeah. 8 nil, big man. I thought, um, I thought Sheffield United were quite unlucky, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no. What an absolute drumming. No, honestly, first people ring up the radio. Um, Crying. Saying, blaming three Sheffield United fans rung up saying the referee was a joke and VAR was a joke. <laughs> I was sitting there thinking, oh, I was literally shouting at the radio like, Your team's are a you joke. okay? You just got <laughs> like, blame it for two or three, like eight yeah. nil. And they were like, oh, you don't know how the game's going to go if they don't get like eight nil. Come nah, on. It's you, never, it's, it's just crazy. It's not enough, man. Um, I mean, to be fair, man. they were pretty resolute for the first 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then after that, they just, that, just one they minute just in, got it was just absolutely. But, um, I mean, fair play Newcastle, first off. Like, yeah. eight different goal scorers, that's some doing. They like, can do that to madness. teams, though. That's madness. Yeah. But I think it was the fourth goal where Sheffield United had already given up. It was the one where... Uh, it was Almer's goal where uh, Almeron got it, yeah. gave it to Bruno, literally just sprinted through the middle of Sheffield United's defence. Yeah, they just let easy. him go and he just played... It yeah. was literally like watching, like, kids. It was like, what on earth are they oh. doing? After the third goal, their fans started chucking bottles at, at the players. I was like, mate... <laughs> Doesn't help. <laughs> at least wait to 6-0. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wait till half time at least, yeah. 3-0, mate. Oh. You're already chucking bottles. Like... Yeah. It was just, yeah, like you say, but this is the problem with teams like that. And it, it happens. Like, once... The fight's gone. They're just like, well, what's the point? Mm. Once you're three 0 four 0 down, Sheffield United, yeah. they ain't coming Sh back from that, are they? Yeah, so it's just hard. Yeah, it's so hard you lose the desire to try. I don't it's think it's right. Out. Yeah, no. But then eight 0 at home. To do that at your home ground. Your home poor. fans. I don't know. I can't think of any other massive results, scores like that. They've been the home team losing it. Yeah, I've used the away. They did a graphic on match today. I think it was like four. Uh, I think Southampton got pumped nine 0 was that at home? Yeah. I oh, was there. I thought that by was by Leicester. Um, yeah. And then a couple of old ones. I think Palace got pumped by Arsenal, maybe. Was it Liverpool. Back or in the Liverpool, day. yeah. Back in the yeah, day, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was at Anfield, though. Oh, was it? Then, maybe that's not on the And then one there was then. the one, someone. Uh, or either Roy. It doesn't happen uh, that much. There was a Bournemouth one last season, wasn't there? But we were at Anfield again. Yeah, that wasn't that, that wasn't a home that one. Was that's it. Yeah. To lose eight nil at, at home, at home so in front of your own fans, that's mate, so it's, it's mad. But I, some I heard on the radio again today that um, is like score like that showing that the gap between the Prem and the Championship's grown. I don't necessarily agree with that. No. I just think this quality of the teams that have come up this year aren't good. Like as as previous, yeah, seasons. I'd agree. Yeah, the teams that have gone down, Southampton, Leeds, and Leicester, yeah, are arguably better than the team, are better than the teams that have come up, Luton, Sheffield United, yeah. Burnley, I thought would be different, but they've not started well. I think they no. may turn it around, but yeah, I just think the teams because my friend who's a Millwall fan, obviously a Championship team, he was saying that the league's much tougher this year because the teams that have come down are really good, and yeah. the teams that have gone up aren't the greatest. So, which is probably true. So, the yeah, so there's probably, probably even more harder teams, isn't there? Yeah. So next season, whoever comes up from Championship next season you'd think would probably be a higher level. Well, you look, Luton are setting themselves up to go back down. They've brought players to, and they hope, I think in their minds, they're hoping that they're going to yo-yo for a couple of years until they're ready to cement a place in the Premier League. Mm. And most teams try and do that. I think Burnley have got the impression that they're going to tr go for the, to try and cement it this season. But the thing is, in my head, before this result, I was thinking Sheffield United and Burnley have sort of flip-flopped in my mind. So I was thinking Sheffield United, they probably bit more resolute at the back and they've got a good little strike force going on. But only just, you only just beat that's, them in the last minute. That's what I mean. Yeah. yeah. It's, I think it's just a freak result. I think that's just got how they got to take it. I, I mean, I Newcastle can do that to teams. Yeah, I, I think do it to it's a how they teams react. last season. They've already beat someone 5 nils. They beat yeah. Smash Villa 5-1 on the start of the season. I mean, it's hard to come back from it, but they're going to have to come back from it to see what they do now. Yeah. Um, I mean, Trippier was insane. Some of his deliveries yeah, were just was good, yeah. literally on the money. Yeah. Um, like you said, eight different goal scorers. Gordon was class as well. Yeah, Gordon, Gordon looked good. Quality. I think he got. Well, that, how was that not a pen, by the way? Which one? Like Gordon got kicked in the leg. Oh yeah, mad mental. Mental, yeah, mate. Yeah. How is that not a penalty? Like mate. I was looking at that. I was like, ah, oh, it's got to be a pen. What's the score at that time? I think it was like four nil, five yeah. nil. Still, rest bottle. I don't know. Yeah, well, it's still madness. Let's talk about a few pens. Um, yeah, but great result for Newcastle. Yeah, Sheffield United really need to bounce back from that because that could make or break a season, that sort yeah. of drum, especially after, like you said, that last minute loss to us. Do you think they, obviously, you assume you think they stay on standby and stuff? Because, I mean, a lot of teams, that's a sackable offence. 
But eight nil. Yeah, I think Southampton stuck by. Um, yeah, I think the smaller teams it probably few, would be. But few, you, matches. Would, yeah, you, you can't get drummed eight nil and then be like gone. Mm, if, if Chelsea got drummed eight nil next week, then you'd be like, yeah, Pochettino's done, mate. Yeah, um, it's just the club, isn't but it? I yeah, I mean, yeah, you can't do that. If they got drummed fucking five six nil by Burnley or Luton, you'd massive, be like, he's under massive happened. pressure though. Yeah. Right, let's get into the London derby then. Arsenal Spurs two two. What did you think of it, mate? Yeah, cracking game, mate. Yeah, yeah. Son and Madison some were looking brilliant mate yeah. looking class and uh, yeah I thought uh, I think Spurs probably unlucky not to win it mate I mean there was parts I think I think across the board it was very even mm. and I take a lot from that because we haven't won at Arsenal in 13 years um, they obviously were going for the title last season we finished 8th they're 4 or 5 years into their project we're 6 games 5 games into yeah, our yeah, project yeah. so to go to Arsenal yeah, and you, put under the, the performance yeah, we did. When you put it like that, yeah. And they were the better team for the first five, 35 minutes, obviously getting that. But and as well as like, okay, Vicario made some decent saves, but you got a crappy deflected goal of Romero and a, a crappy penalty decision. Was it a pen? I, just, I mean, I, I don't, don't know what... And when it comes to handballs these days, I don't know what's a pen, what's not. I don't think it is. Like, <laughs> you... you He's lunged to block the ball. That's what I mean. Where's his hand going to go? No one's lunging with their hands yeah. by their well, like, by their size. It's not natural. Well, this is my argument. It's like I get the whole when you're standing someone up, yeah, hands both sides all day. That's fair enough. But even that's hard because if they're going to turn you to mm. tur- to try and turn with your hands behind your back, it's difficult. Mm. But when you're lunging, mm. who's lunging? No, they're not. But like, onto your knee as well. You don't with your hands behind your back. You, it's mental. I, I did it earlier. I was trying to show someone earlier. Arsenal fan, funny enough. Yeah. Like and I was saying, look, look when I lunge. My, what do my hands do? They help yeah. to balance. Exactly. Yeah. So you can't do it without yeah. having your hand there. And I'm pretty sure it had a little deflection off Madison's foot or something, or it's come off the floor and then come up. But yeah, I don't. I, I mean, like I said, it's hard to even argue because it's like I don't think refs even know what the bloody nah, thing they is. Don't. It's as we're going to talk about in a it's bit by an absolutely awful handball decision. Oh, that one. But yeah, but the game was exciting. I think mm. I put a little poll up, the poll out on YouTube. I don't know if you saw it, but I was yeah, like, what's the most exciting? Um, I voted after. Game. I couldn't believe Arsenal will Spurs won that. Did it? Yeah. I haven't actually double checked. Liverpool United, I can believe that. Yeah, but it's today. I, feel like, I don't think that rivalry is as strong as it used to be. It is for Liverpool United fans. Yeah. <coughs> but there's so. like, I always feel like Everton, Liverpool's a bit tame. Like, United, so, uh, Liverpool is more history mm. as opposed to like. I know you're quite close, but yeah, I don't know. I, I put it out there because I was intrigued anyway, and I, I heard a few people chatting about it, and I was I was intrigued to see what people thought. Mm. But yeah, I think it's one of the biggest games of the season. Definitely, yeah. uh, I think for a neutral to watch, it's always it always delivers. But yeah, like I said, it's usually years gone by. In recent years, it's usually the home team wins. So to go there and get a point, I was chuffed. I mean, Madison, Son, Link Up say, Day was banging. Son's, those two finishes were an absolute joke, by the it's, way. It's so good, mate. Do when you, you watch that second one slow down, he's sort of like... And he Gliding, looked to the ball, he looked to the ball didn't chill. he? He just chill. watched the ball come yeah. across. He looked down, watched it come across, yeah. and then he just slotted it. You see him taking a couple of like, twinkle such toes. A, yeah, pop, such a in the corner. A lot of, lot, you know, a lot of players snatch at that. Well, I said to you, didn't I, about his, his yeah, uh, finishing, brilliant, finishing yeah. like when he comes like... Yeah, imagine taking him out of your fantasy mate. team, eh? <laughs> Mental, mate. I'm pissed I didn't captain him. <laughs> uh, but obviously, after the penalty, we went and scored 27 seconds later. Yeah, I mean, Gary, had Gary Neville talking about it. It was like, were they over celebrating? And yeah. there's been lo- 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 loads of banter about Arsenal over celebrating mm. goals. Yeah. Um, but Jorginho, mate, what happened? Right. Got his pockets picked. What was picked. he doing? I know. He like, had a touch and then like, his yeah. second, I don't know, it's just like under his foot kind Shocking. of thing. But fair play to Madison. He tried to do too much. But the problem, yeah. the thing is as well, you flip it to what I feel was like the 30th minute. Um, Jesus absolutely yeah, steals it off Madison. It over, yeah, yeah. Two nil and it, it, ki- it doesn't kill the game, but it makes it a lot harder to get back that's into what I mean. it. That's what, like chances like that, I know yeah. Son had a bit more time to think about it. Like chances like that, Son's just He's so catch. You look yeah. at it like, it's just, yeah, that's why you got so Jesus just absolutely stuck it straight oh, over the yeah. bar, mate. No, but never what really. about that save from Raya as well, Johnson? Yeah, and was a little that bit was behind a mad it, but save. I was like, yeah, oh, that was a mate. Yeah, yeah. As a beast. But to be fair, it's the only, in my eyes anyway, it's the only good thing Raya did in that game. His distribution was poor. If it if it was more than in 10, 15 yards, Mm. He put about six, five or six long balls out for throw-ins. Mm. He fla- he flaffed at that for the second, uh, for the first goal. It was sort of come up and he sort of like slapped it instead of just pushing it out for a corner. He slapped it back <sighs> into play. Yeah, yeah Johnson's yeah. Had, a, had a really dig at him. Yeah, score. we scored yeah, almost yeah. straight from it. Oh, Madison for that goal, by the way. Absolutely. Yeah, he sent Turn sent Saka like for a yeah, pancake. Yeah, yeah. So uh, he said, "Put some butter on that, mate." I'm just about to go <laughs> assist Sonny. Um, you better but, hope he's not injured. 
Uh, oh, mate, the knee, you see it? Yeah. Rough. No, ain't bad. Oh, I said, I said, what about the, inc- the Inketica tackle, by the way, on your keyboard? Yeah. How's that not red? That's a leg breaker. Yeah. It's That's so late. The ball's no end. The ball's gone. The ball's see, the problem with it, The problem with it is one of them tackles, if it breaks a leg, it's a red card. If it doesn't, it's not. Well, that's how it should be. I know, I know, I know. It was so late. I fully, I fully agree. On a keeper, so late. I know, it's disgusting. It's but disgusting. Like you say, I, if, that, you, if your foot's a, like half a yard to the left to, and, he, and he, starts, he, pl- he plants his stud, for me, if Vicario's foot's yeah, planted, that's what I mean. Me, if if it doesn't break his leg, he's not getting a red but card. But for me, if, you're, if you've got one leg, one side of a leg, and one side the other, that's a red card every yeah. day. I don't and think that's the force he hit him with as well. I don't think there's an argument for that. No. I don't think there's an argument. And the ball, it was so late as well, the ball wasn't there. Yeah. Um, because that I was going to talk about. After we'll talk about it later, I'm sure. But the gusto one, yeah. Oh, that's so how's the gusto one a red and yeah, that's no, not? So no, that's no, a joke. No, no. We talked about it all season so far, mate. The no consistency of off, anything yeah. off the charts. Um, yeah, exactly. But yeah, I but feel no, I feel like soon away Son and Madison went off. Our creativity got a bit killed, which is a bit it's concerning. But yeah, I also thought after t- at two two, no team really went for the jugular. Mm. Um, but here's one for you, mate. Because a few of the commentators were talking about, it, and we've been talking about it for a little while now. Jesus, mate. They're all saying he's not good enough for Arsenal. Well, yeah. Gary Neville, Alan Smith, and someone else was saying it as well. Interesting. He is not the striker to win the league, and it's it's it's. I've been saying it, mate. Yeah. We're saying it for so when Arsenal don't win the now. league because they're not good enough. Are you going to say it's because of the striker? No, I'm not going to. Well, I'll say it because they're the crap team, but. Uh, no, I'm joking. Um, I don't think he's good enough. He's not good enough to win the league. I've been saying it for a long time now, mate, and I'm just I feel vindicated. Than, yeah. Is it when Leicester, just, when Leicester hit, won the league? Was hit, he better than Jamie Vardy? No. 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 Okay. Is he better than? No, he's not better than Firmino, is he? God, we'd be all we'd say, is he better than Firmino? For me, for, the thing is, Firmino, a similar style of player where they do a lot off the ball. Mm. Jesus is back. Like back to play is good. His defensive like work is good, mm. but you saw that, that that tackle on Madison sums him up. Great pressure, mm. stole the ball of him, couldn't finish. Mm. Open goal, basically. Well, we won. We won the league with Firmino. Yeah, but it's different. Why is it different? Because Firmino is. They don't have Salah and Mane. They've got Saka and Martinelli. They're young. Saka's supposed to be the Salah guy. gets twenty five goals. Saka gets fifteen. First. There's the ten. There's the ten swing. But I'm just saying, you can win it without a, without a world class. Well, females world class. You can win it without a 25 season plus. Name me a person. Strike. Name me a team. Chelsea. What did they Drogba? Chelsea. When when did Chelsea last win the league? They didn't have a proper striker, mate. Who did they have? They haven't had a proper striker in about 15 years. I remember the last time they won the league. They won the league. City and us, and then probably about five years ago, there was one that they won. They lost to Google. Hazard. Yeah. See what I'm Hazard, saying? So there you go. No, but it they, can be done. They had a striker above. Not the bang 20. Would have been the more out of 15, 20 goals. Right, Stevens has had a look. Chelsea won the league with Diego Costa. How can we not think of that? I guess how many how many goals he scored, bruv? 20. 20 goals. And he's a top striker. Skimming. Okay. That's my point proven, mate. Thank you very much. <sighs> Good night. You're Let's not, end it. You're not thinking, it's it's, you're not, not thinking <laughs> you can get 20 goals? No. No. I do not. That's no. why I said last season. They yeah, don't win the league with right. Jesus. Maybe you're right. I am right. Maybe you're Thank right. Thank you for admitting. I love it. First no, surfing. It feels good. First surfing. Can it? No, it feels good to get off your chest, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, right, right, let's move on. Moving on. That was a waffle. <laughs> let's get into City Forest. 2 0 City. City continue their 100% start to the season. <sighs> They're just a joke, mate. Can anyone stop them? Any any other team go down to 10, they struggle. Well, uh, do you know what I mean? But well, yeah. if any, any team would just keep the ball, it's them. I mean, to be fair, if, once they did go down to 10 men, Forest did obviously they're gonna create come some back chances. Yeah, obviously they're going to come back. Um, it, but they just. You know, they just got the job done, didn't they? What was Roger doing, though? Oh, this is mad. He had, like, free wax at it, mate. Fully lost his head, didn't it he? Wasn't even, it was over nothing as well. A bit of, like, him. chesty bumps, mate. Fully lost his head. Uh, this is mad. Um, should, should get an extra ban for that, shouldn't he, surely? No, be straight red, mate. It's free back. Yeah, because it's violent contact, isn't it? Yeah. He yeah. literally strangled the guy. Yeah. I mean, Foden's goal. Yeah, good finish. Um, great finish, mate. Great ball from Rodri. Little nice little cheeky touchback from Walker. And yeah, a great a finish from Foden. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Harlan had a nice little header. And then to be fair, who was it? There was someone else. There was two going. Oh, it was Emerson and Awani. <laughs> They like, testing their neck muscles out. Oh, you see yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, mate, Roger's just been sent off, and they're like, what? <laughs> who's got a stronger neck? <laughs> I hate it, mate. I hate when they they bump their heads together and they're like mm. pushing each other. It's like, what, what, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing for it, mate? If you're gonna swing, swing. 
Um, but yeah, like I said, Forrest obviously had had a few chances, but didn't really create well anything meaningful. I think. Oh no, saying that, Alanga had a good shot. I think it was, and Emerson made a, a top save from that. But I think Forrest are more than fine. I, I'm, if anything, the more I watch them, I think they're going to be oh, no, higher think, and higher. I think oh, they're I think they're seeing in Fulham's place in my prediction. I think they're list. decent, mate. I think they're. Yeah. I think they could be around tenth. Yes, I'm saying um, still in Fulham's place from last season. Uh, I expect them to score against City actually, but City just kind of got the job done, didn't they? Um, I feel like once Rodri sure. had been sent off, um, City just they had to sort of just they shut up shop, didn't yeah, they? Exactly. Yeah, so they just sort of City, Forest around. maybe would have had more of a chance to score if it was still eleven v eleven. Too, yeah, it probably would have been moving, but they probably would have finished four one. So mm, yeah, exactly. Do you lose two 0 Do you but, lose four um, one? If City are going to drop any points. <laughs> Got it new, can only got Newcastle be soon, they? it can only be, be well, we should have already played Newcastle and they, they just didn't turn up who City oh it was 1-0 wasn't it yeah when was it? I can't have them Newcastle just sat back but the only team I can see beating them. them at the minute is yourselves yeah. us because of our record against them yeah especially at home <sighs> they're dropping points I don't think Arsenal can even, you know, they'll, they'll drop points to like a palace what I'm clinging up to like, what I'm clinging on to is that their squad has not got the depth it used to have. Yeah, but still got the quality. Oh, of course it's got the quality, but hopefully they get caught out. But we'll see. But, I mean, we're yeah, just, but you're banking on. Would it surprise you them doing a treble? A Harlan again? getting injured. Not um, even that. Just maybe like a couple more. I don't know. With the treble, not even just because Harry Kane's there. I feel like Bayern are going to have a big shout in Champions League this season. I just think Real Madrid. I just are think City are going to be improved. strong. Yeah. Um, maybe not, but. I mean, Arsenal fans will tell you that they're going to win it. <laughs> what, the league or the Champions League? I haven't been in the Champions League in about 10 years, and they're like, we're going to win it. So many people waffle, saying that, mate. Absolute waffle, waffle. Yeah, awful. Ain't got a striker, have they? No chance they're going to win it. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, obviously, yeah, City continue their, their good start for us. They're going to be fine. Yeah, um, should we move on, mate? Yes, yeah, move on. Let's get into <laughs> your boys. Liverpool versus West Ham. 3-1 Liverpool. Better. Better. Like Talk about this all oh, day, we, mate. we called it 3 2, didn't we? But 3 1, yeah, I'm sure thought, we'll take I it. West Ham would have a bit more go. Apart from, they had a couple of chances well, early on. They had a couple of big chances early on to go. Yeah, ahead. other than that, they didn't really have a sniff. Uh, that, that, mm. that one, Alisson got down into the corner to yeah, save from save. Antonio. No, who was it? I think it was Antonio. Suchek, was it? Oh, Suchek. 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 Yeah. And uh, then that was Antonio great save. had a good, good And then strike. the one that Antonio absolutely spooned. Yeah. That's what you get for chatting, mate. Oh yeah, been chatting about finishing above us all, all yeah, week, isn't he? Waffle, <laughs> waffle yeah. um, and then yeah, and obviously both took his goal well. Oh, that was a great header, mate. Uh, it was a great header, but uh, other than that, I didn't really. Mm, I thought they'd have a bit more of a go, but yeah, we so just kind of dominated it. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, you're see. you're you're almost back to yourselves, mate. We're looking good, mate. Yeah, you're looking um, better and better each week. Darwin mate. Nunes, Salah wins a penalty, scores a penalty. Darwin, yeah, yeah. that absolute cheeky little touch over, mate. It was first time volley, wasn't it? I was like, Phew, oh god, god yeah. Darwin, well, he, he just missed the one a, a minute before, didn't he? <laughs> this is the thing with Nunes, mate. Just to see it, yeah. Salah put him through, and he literally absolutely wallied it wide, and I was like, oh my god. Yeah, but that sums him like, up. I said, I can't defend you anymore. That sums him I can't up. defend you anymore. <laughs> And then he goes and does that five minutes later. That's I mean. like, what it a sums guy. him yeah, up though, it's, mate. It's just, he's just brilliant. Like mm. he just he's he's, missed, he's he's captain chaos. He just causes chaos. Yeah. And yet he's not the perfect player. He's, he's not like the ultimate player to keep you on the edge. He's of not going to put. Yeah, but <laughs> what we talked about Harlan the other day. He misses yeah, chances. No, he does. He yeah, misses no, chances. Yeah, I mean, I players miss chances. It's how they react after. And like, that finish was just a little cushion, wasn't it? Yeah. Like that. Know, that was tasty. Like, talk about the pass, by the way, McAllister. Oh yeah, that was a joke, wasn't it? Yeah. But yeah, like love the guy and brilliant, and then Jota coming on, finishing it. Yeah, this um, was the game. We look solid. Like we like our defense looks solid. I don't want to touch wood. Like I don't want to jinx anything. But we look we look good. Yeah. My worry though, I love Trent, mm. but I worry when he comes back. Whether they put him in and do this inverted thing again, and then yeah, we then won't be exploited. as strong. We won't be yeah. as strong defensively. That is my worry. But yeah, at the moment looking good, looking good. Yeah. But when is Trent back? Well, they didn't think it's serious. I think it'll be back in the next couple of weeks. I think oh, he's training. I don't know. If I, do I want him back against Spurs or not? Because you've been probably better without him. But then I say yeah, that. Yeah, you but were, he can do... You, he that can game before he got assistance. injured, he was... Yeah, he can... Well, it, well, so. We went Trent's on it, he's unreal, he's like, No, exactly. Come on then, let's get into Brentford, Everton. 3-1 Everton. Did not see did this one Did not see this, did not see Where's that Everton performance been yeah, all season? Yeah, literally, where is it? Your boys, you buzzing. Uh, mate, I you. told you. I thought you were buzzing, you. Right, yeah. I, was, I was playing golf at the time. I was like, oi, oi. I was in Smithy as well. I was like, mate, your team's winning. Love that, yeah. Nah, they were just... Mate, they were just on it, weren't they? Mate, to be fair, I. Do you know what? Whether Brentford weren't up for it, but what a massive win away to Brentford yeah, yeah. 3 1. Like, exactly. like, they only lost like once their last, whole last season. Mm, do you think Brentford might fall off a bit now? I think they're already half. Or, half? I, think, I think they are falling yeah, off. Yeah, I think bit. they won't keep their levels. Their they performances 
uh, haven't been that great this season so far. I haven't been massively down. impressed. I think there was a couple of games um, earlier. I can't exactly remember the same t- the, the right teams, but I haven't been overly impressed. There was one where they did so well early on. Everyone was like, oh, they're like, they don't actually need, they'd be all right without Tony. But actually, as the season goes along, they're going to miss him massively. Him, yeah. They need that hold that hold up guy because yeah, like, right. he's just against that team. The thing is for them as well. He's he's a creator as well. Like yeah. he's the ultimate striker for them. So um, um, yeah, the sooner he's back, the better. But um, happy uh, Calvert Lewin back on the score sheet. Yeah, mate. took his goal, big, well, didn't big he? Goal yeah. for him. he? I mean, he's ma- he's massive for them. If he stays fit, mm-hmm. he's the difference between staying up and going down. Yeah, but you just can't rely on him. No. Um, I, ever, I mean, Everton did look good. To be fair, I mean, um, yeah, no, they did. Decore took his goal well and then hit the bar yeah, like, shortly Decore's after. Decore's a good player for them. Yeah, yeah I like him. But do you think now Calvert Lewin's back? They play better, better, and Calvert yeah, together. I think. I what think. Do you think he does? I think Dyche knows that Calvert Lewin's too much of an injury risk. Just I think be he continues and he comes him off. Mm, yeah, on the he's bench. gonna have to start him eventually. I think for at least a couple of games he'll probably run that, especially after it's just worked. Well, to be fair, I don't want to jinx the guy, but uh, let's be honest, he'll probably be injured in a That's couple of games. That's what I mean. I don't, so I don't, I don't it's think not he's probably going to be a thing. Starting them both to, for him to get injured. I hope, yeah, I hope he stays fit, but I can't see it. Um, but yeah, hopefully it's a massive win for Everton. Hopefully it kickstarts their season. Yeah, you'd um, like that, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would. <laughs> Surprised you're not wearing everything. Shout out to you, Uh Wearing the merch, mate. Yeah. If you want to pick it out, down in the description, if you want to pick yourself up a cheeky T-shirt or a string bag like Stephen likes. <laughs> I want my last... I don't like to wear it every week. I need to buy another one. Though. That's funny. Yeah, I've got a couple. We've got a few designs on there, but yeah, I need to order a couple more. But anyway, let's move on then. Nice little pitch for you. Let's get on to Brighton Bournemouth. 3-1 Brighton. Another Brighton win, yeah, mate. Yeah, they're just, they're just a machine, aren't they? I, they're just... They're I, quite Going under the radar. I thought that they might potentially get a draw and drop points mm. just because of like Thursday hangover. Well, uh, I mean, you say that we're both one called three one, and it was three one. Yeah, no, but I, no. The closer it got to the game, I put a bet on or two. I put one bet. I put a draw on, and um, I just the closer it got to the game, I was just more worried for them. But yeah, they went one 0 down there, and then they. I mean, Brighton's really well. keeper actually had like ha- yeah, absolute that howler, him, mate. Shock him. Um, and they took the goal well, but yeah, um, yeah they were Matoma coming off the bench, man, getting yeah, a brace. Mate, great header. And He's the other one, yeah. Man, nah, good, team. yeah. He's a good player. Um, um, yeah. Well, we've been playing half decent. They just can't get the results in a minute. Yeah, I don't I don't know what their fixtures are like. But I feel like they must have some good games coming up. They've got to, but that's what I mean. Like, They've uh, got to start getting some points. They're a bit of a funny team at the minute because a bit like your Evans and, and Wolves that are playing half decent but just not been able to score. Yeah, I feel like they've got a lot more quality. And I worry, those, they, those, that's what I mean, but I worry they're getting sucked yeah, in. Yeah, no, they, I mean, they're going to be down there, but I think they will... I think they'll start picking it up. Mm. Um, they, I think they have had some hard fixtures yeah. um, off the soft mad. But yeah, I like them. Um, I like them. I think they're a decent team. But yeah, I think they'll... Yeah, I like them. They just need to pick up, start picking up some Yeah, points. Brighton are a machine, mate. Brighton are... Yeah, Brighton, Brighton are well, They're in the league now, like they've... Well, they've only lost to Wal- uh, West Ham. Yeah, exactly. I think they're second, isn't they? No, we're second, mate. Oh, okay. They're Swiss third, then. They're third and we're fourth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. Imagine that'd be the top four, mate. That could happen. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Um, yeah, because Arsenal will be fifth as well, but they've probably still got Champions League. <laughs> right, let's move on then. Let's get into Chelsea Villa. Oh dear, one oh dear, oh dear. nil Villa. Stuart, we had a guy in our comments the other week saying, oh, yeah. in our predictions video saying, be two, three, how are you making our team saying that we, they're not gonna they're gonna lose at home? Two be made in lo- making lots of and chances. Unfortunately, mate, I said because you don't score goals, and what happened? You didn't score any goals. Is that three games in a row they haven't scored. Yep. Pochettino's wow. under the cosh. Chelsea wow. just my, cannot um, score. My friend Stuart is a big Chelsea fan. I wind him up every week and uh, he was saying to me, I was saying, are you not worried yet? And he pretends he's not. And he goes, we're making chances. If we weren't making chances, then I'd, you know, that's when I start to worry. And I text him <laughs> after the game, I was like, are you worried yet? Yeah. <laughs> you're still making chances, but you're still yeah, not scoring goals. <laughs> yeah. yeah, obviously Watkins getting on the score sheet, finally this season, called it in our FBL video. It was going to only a matter of time. Oh, shut up, I gave you that. Uh, <laughs> he did it. Yeah, but, uh, to be fair, Derby played it through, didn't he? And um, Chil- uh, Chilwell. Carwell did well to block the first one yeah and then, then but it's to be fair Watkins what a finish from the, that angle yeah, he pretty keeps his legs though didn't he yeah got a bit of luck there but mate that's what Take you it. need you need Take it, it. it. he loves scoring against Chelsea comes off you. your leg comes off he your knee he's just got to get some last season there you go mate what did you think of red card uh, at first I was like it's not but then when I've watched it again it is I think it's a soft red it is personally you can't give that and not give the blooming Nketia one for me that's crazy yeah I know. it's just like we say no consistency um, yeah. I do think it's soft yeah I don't because it barely studs up. But, uh, yeah, and that's the thing. He's he's. This is the difference. He's going for the ball. It's a, it's mm. a, it's an honest challenge. Yeah, he's got it a little bit wrong. He's a little bit high. Yeah, I don't. I don't think there's a lot in it. But 
like the Inketi one, sorry, it's going back to it again, yeah. is so late. Mm. He's completely out of control of his body. Mm. That's the red card all day. Um, no, I agree. I agree. I'd feel yeah. a bit hard done by, but then I also see why it's... You can't really... Argue. It probably is a red card just about... I think it's, it's not getting it's not I getting rescinded. I think it's an like, orange. I think it's, it's not getting ones. rescinded, is it? No, nah, it won't be. Um, um, but yeah, obviously Chelsea are creating the chances. Surely it's just a matter of time before they start scoring you think, goals. But who's going to put the goal in there? It's just a hoodoo on it, mate. But you look at that. You look at them, right? Mm. Jackson can't hit a barn door. Yeah. I'm sure he will store a few. But the more, longer it goes on, the more his confidence is going to be shot. Well, Mudric... Sterling when he's on it, but when Sterling's not on it, he's pony. Yeah. Mudrid doesn't have a goal in him. Literally. Enzo doesn't look like he's got a goal in him. No. Where are the goals coming from? I have no idea, the, none of those players have got a goal no in him. No idea. No goal. Well, they had that uh, goal disallowed, didn't they? Uh, yeah. Just slightly yeah, offside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think they were buzzing for that. But yeah, I just, yeah, you, you make you a look point, like, mate. You look at like Brighton, mm. they've got goals from everywhere. Liverpool, goals from everywhere. I'm Newcastle, not going to talk about City. Arsenal, Newcastle, Spurs. goals from everywhere. They've proved yeah. that eight. Spurs have got maybe not so many, but they have Well, you say that. Kuzevsky, Son, yeah, Johnson, okay. yeah, okay. Pape Sarr. So, score jet, man, calm down. Huh? Does Johnson score jet? Oh, he scored the first No, not for Spurs. No, right, okay, there you go then. But I mean, he still scores goals. Yeah, but like, okay, but, and then Arsenal got a goal from everywhere. Yeah. Chelsea haven't got that. No. At all. Well, they haven't got goals from one. Yeah, anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let them goals from everywhere. They've got goals, so from, everywhere. Everywhere. They got yeah. goals from anywhere. They're just taking one goal score. Yeah. What they'd do for a Jackson goal. <laughs> yeah, exactly, mate. What they do for Diego Costa back in the team. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ah, he never hits uh, any. Uh, but um it. No, I mean I I'm I'm loving it, mate. Long may it continue. Yeah, no, I feel I I You I, won't get I, thought no, you, I don't feel sorry for I Chelsea. I thought you were gonna say feel sorry for them then. You feel no. sorry for poor I old Chelsea. No, do you know what Chelsea I definitely don't got any money. I was watching Potts, I was like, ah, I do feel a bit bad for him because he's getting he's gonna get a rough time from this. Oh yeah, that's just the Potts because he was your manager. Do you know what I feel sorry for? Who? Our our mate it was in the comments, I feel sorry for him. That's the only person I feel sorry yeah. for. As two people tried to call us in the comments like two weeks in a row, we've shown absolutely shut them down. So the Villa fan the week before it was like, we don't concede at home, blah, blah, blah. you can see that at home, mate. <laughs> nah, he said that they win at home and they did win to me. Yeah, it was because of you, but I called it. I yeah, said, I said, calm down, mate, it's going to be 2-1, we're both going to be happy, and it's it finished 3-1, one, one, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> he was going on, like, they've only conceded two goals, but regardless... Don't come for us. <laughs> uh, right, let's move on. Let's go for Burnley United. 1-0 United, mate. Much needed win. Yeah, great finish. They needed that, didn't they? Well, they needed it because it was around their stand. Are they in the top half now? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I haven't let the, the table, mate. We've got knife now, aren't they? I mean, I generally thought Burnley were a little bit unlucky, to be fair. Across the game, mm. I thought they could have got something from it. They hit the post. Um and they had some good... They were knocking on the door late on as well. Yeah, it's one of the... No, I did enough, didn't they? Hold on. Um, what, they, about the, what about the goal, mate? The Canio, Van Nistelrooy... Not Van Nistelrooy. Um, Van Persie-esque, Van Persie, mate. Yeah, yeah, good great finish, yeah. Absolute beast of a finish. Yeah, what a ball by Johnny... Is this, Big this Evans, young lad, But Johnny Evans just yeah. coming through the cover. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Got his chance. Yeah, that's it, that mate, yeah. <laughs> well, he scored, didn't he, as well? He had his goal to yeah, yeah, He was yeah, buzzing yeah. off that, mate, because I'm pretty sure it was his 200th appearance. How old actually is he? 35. Oh, really? I thought it was like 37. Okay. Yeah, it's very fun. Not too bad. Um, but yeah, like you said, nice ball over from, from Evans, top tier. Uh, and the, yeah, the finish complimented the pass, Great I think. goal. Great goal. Um, Annoyingly like that kit as well. I don't usually like United kits, but I like that one. I mean, white, it annoys me because nice. I, I feel it's like good. white's like Spurs and Swansea. <laughs> and Leeds. <laughs> <Adons. laughs> nah, they're not. They are like splashes, don't they? But um, I mean, United didn't still look that convincing, if I'm honest. No, but I think for them now, I mean, it's, just, a much it's, just picking, it's just picking up points, isn't it? I mean, Hoyland missed a couple of uh, yeah, goals missed the one we skied it over, didn't he? Yeah, I, I mean, think it's just for them. It's just picking up, picking up points. It doesn't matter how you play at the moment. Mm. You just get a few points on the board, and then you can build on it. Yeah, true. But um, yeah. Uh, I thought Burnley could take some real positives from the game though, because they did they they performed well. Yeah, they need to a big. They team. need to start picking up points though. Yeah, definitely. One point from what six games is? Yeah, it's not good. drugs. Mm, that's good. looting levels sorry yes Matt. it is oh and on the subject of that moving on Boom. let's get into a Luton Wolves 1-1 no. one, can, one. can I take this what do you mean can I take this no <laughs> yeah go can on I what, you, what you got for me mate that is the worst penalty decision kick straight things off with I have decision. seen yeah. in my life mm. generally I don't think I've ever seen a worse one no, it's yeah, the ball has think. been levered at him. Yeah, from point blank range. That's the first thing. Mm. How's he going to get out of the way? Yeah. The worst thing is it's hit his knee, rebounded onto his hand. Mm. What is he supposed to do? This is it. It is ludicrous. 
But well, it's back to the lunging thing, isn't it? Like he's, he's, he's running full speed, lunges across, it, the ball's absolutely plumbed at it, his leg, it, yeah. cahooned up into his, his hand. But yeah. the problem is, yeah, you know, like the Romero one, I'm like, he's in front of the goal. He's potentially stopping a, a, a goal, yeah. even though Basuma was behind him. Yeah. He's potentially stopping a goal. The, that the, ball is cannoning up yeah, in the air. Yeah. What's the, what's the difference? I just don't understand how, how goal scoring opportunity. three people, four people, five, or however many, how many they have in these stupid studios mm. could sit there and say that's a penalty. Yeah, no. How? Ludicrous. How? Ludicrous. How? And then the ref, did the ref go to the monitor? I don't think so. They just gave it? No, remember. he did go to the monitor. So the ref's gone to the monitor and gone, yeah. oh yeah. Because there's no way any sane referee goes to the monitor and goes, mm. that's a pen. He's had got that in there. Oh, you need to look at his, oh look, his, hand, his hands yeah, up. His hand yeah, like, no. get a grip. That is like never handball. Some of them have already been told. Like, oh, yeah, oh, you need to come and look at it. It's, it's in their head, even if it's subconsciously. Like, oh, okay, yeah, even if it's subconsciously, they're giving yeah. it because, of, yeah, it's a joke. That ha- that's un- It's embarrassing. It's a joke. Imagine Wolves go down by, by, by two points. Mm. Imagine. Yeah. It's an absolute farce. I mean, in all fairness, Luton were the better team. Yeah, but it's not the point, is it? Um, it's not the point. And they, then they could be the better team. They ain't got any goals. Yeah, I know. Uh, but the penalty is disgraceful. I, I'm 100 percent agree with you on that. Disgraceful. Uh, Sackable. Bella, Bella card after a good performance last week. Yeah, what was he getting doing? himself sent off? What's he doing? But it's just a little bit of immaturity yeah, in the yeah, prem yeah. and stuff. You can't you just can't kick out like that. Nah, I get like him, he's on him, and it's Some, like in any other situation, oh, someone's on your leg. You're like, he's get not, off me, he's get not off let me. him up. Yeah, so he's, I mean, he's clever. He's clever about it, but, but the guy needs to just can't react chill out. Like no, you can't. A few red cards, we don't know. It feels like there's a lot this season, isn't there? Yeah, when they're chucking cards left, front, and centre. Yeah, but no, no, and I, like, I kind of like it. I kind of like it, like any descent and stuff like that. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. it's just going to calm it down. But, mate, if you're a betting man, you should give the. I don't well, know why you're not on cards, man. Oh, I don't bet, mate. You win so much for me, dude. You should give the, red, the, give the, <laughs> give the ref a card, a red card for the blooming decision. Uh, what a goal from Neto, though, mate. What yeah. a strong Ooh, run, great yeah, finish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's doing really well this season. Yeah. But the only thing is, he's their only source of goals. Mm. There's no one else. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. I mean, well, they spent fifty million on Kunda, and he doesn't know what the goal is. Yeah, fifty. And they, they had that. They've got that big, tall, six foot six. Yeah, don't play him today. He well, I think he's he? come back from an injury. I oh, think he's come he? back from an ACL or something. Yeah, yeah. Because um, they signed him last season. I didn't know that he played one sick game last season. Pulled his ACL, I think. Um, yeah. Pulled his ACL. Tore his ACL. Um, and then yeah, he's only just sort of come back. He scored that goal, and I think I, I, I don't think he's fit, like still match fit. But mm. maybe he can get him a few goals this season. But yeah. that's all they're lacking, I think. They're, they're I mean, need, it's the same need, story for a lot of teams. They need. Uh, but how, they need does more. that? So does, uh, is that us saying that how important a striker is to a team? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking I'm talking about Jesus oh. bringing it back to Jesus again <laughs> um, like Josh I said Luton started well I think Morrison hit the bar uh, and then what was it they got the well obviously took the pen scored the pen well um, but they haven't scored out of our own play yet who hey, Luton no it's two pens isn't it yeah, so, yeah. yeah I mean I've said this before I said they're gonna they're not getting more what did I say 17 points <laughs> I don't know what you said, man. I don't think they get him on 10. <laughs> so I'm right again, mate. I am I am on fire, mate. Don't you just don't uh, test me. Don't come for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still above you on the old uh, predictions, are I surely? No, we have to wait, mate. You have to find out this week. <laughs> um, but both teams, I think, can be happy with a point. Obviously, Wolves probably what? less. <laughs> Luton, Luton cannot be happy. Yeah, well, you you were going on about Luton point. being good at home, so and that was where they're going to get their points. So they got their point, and I yeah, called it. But I was it, bang on the money. I called one one too fast, mate. Again, smashing it. Right, let's get on to Palace Fulham then. <laughs> nil nil. Mate, I watched the ninety minutes of this. Ah, oh, what a big John. Bore off. No, I watched it on my own because I had him on last man standing, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> I was absolutely dying. Oh, and I had two Palace players in there. My FPL team wouldn't advise that Madness, either. <laughs> and yeah. uh, oh, it was dire. They're awful. Yeah. Fulham are much a better team first half. Second half was a bit more even, but that, there was a few chances. A couple of, the keepers made a couple of decent saves, but Johnson kept them. Palace in it first half. Off. Yeah, Fulham had four or five real good chances. So Johnson made yeah. quite a few saves. Uh, Leno, um, Leno's been sweeping me up. He's yeah, a clean sheets the last couple of weeks. Yeah, uh, Palace didn't just they just, just couldn't finish. No, it's not even that. They don't make chances. They don't make anything. Mm. Well, we just said they both made, made some chances. They, they don't they make chances. Score. So many teams just can't score. They don't have uh, Wolves. Obviously, Everton this week can Chelsea, Fulham. They haven't got Palace. Any... There's not a lot of goals. They there. haven't got. They've got a goal scorer in Edward, but. 
They don't make him enough chances. Yeah, he couldn't, no, they, could, they couldn't start him last no, season. But they've got. He's been doing well. Yeah, this he's season, done all right. I'll give you that. He's got four and six this season. Hmm. But Does they've got continue, they've got Ed, 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 uh, they've got Eze if he gets fed mm. he does they've got Eze who is one of the best creators in the cl- in the league I believe yeah. but do you know what they do they play Eze left centre mid you've got to find a way to play him in the ten behind the striker Hang on a striker minute. where's Elise because I swear Elise is injured again oh, okay he's just injured yeah. so they play Eze left centre mid and then what happened was they brought Matea on second mm. half who did improve them mm. but they put Matea up top and they put Edouard in the ten and they kept Eze in midfield. Madness. You've got to get Eze close to the to the goal. Surely. Yeah, you do. You Crazy. do. Um, That's their two sources of goals. They're not playing to your strengths. But uh, yeah, frustrating game. Um, yeah, I mean, Fulham it was good. Better team. I think Fulham were unlucky not to yeah. win, to be honest. It was good to have uh, Big Roy back after his little... Uh, well, he, he was flying last season, wasn't he? The end, just to keep him up. Yeah. But uh, I think it's gone a bit stale again. I'm calling it. I think he gets sacked. Hey, Roy? I get. I think Roy gets sacked. Nah, he's not going to sacked. I think he's one of the first not ones. yet. You think he's one of the first? No, I don't think he's getting sacked now, but I think he's going to be one of the first. <laughs> I, my prediction is Sheffield United manager goes yeah. first, and then I'm thinking Dyche maybe goes, one of them, Dyche, yeah. maybe a Burnley company, and then I think Roy probably gets sacked maybe like January time. You're missing a big one there, bruv. Huh? Big Poch, mate. Oh, yeah, I'm Poch. Oh, he's a set for first. Yeah. But I, I think, think Roy goes. I, I think Roy, I, I'll nah. tell you what, if I, could, I, if I could have a bet with you, I'd say Roy gets sacked this season. Okay, well, I, I won't necessarily dispute that he gets sacked, right. but he ain't, he's not in the first five. If we're going off the bat, there's going to be 14 seconds like yeah, there was see, last I season, I, from which what I don't I think saw, there will be. From what I saw on Saturday, for playing a team that have been shipping goals for fun this season, yeah. Palace are in trouble. Well, put it this then, yeah. Think, think of the top 20 teams. Mm. Think of the teams, managers that don't get sacked this season. Ange, Pep... Klopp, uh, Moyes at the minute, Deserby, Deserby um, Frank. Yeah, well, he's untouchable. Mm, well, he's, he's untouchable. Doesn't get sacked. All right, we'll, get, we'll, get, we'll, we'll have Frank in there then. Um, Emery. Yeah, Emery. Um, but he could. I don't think he, Eddie's up. If he has a man, I don't think Eddie's Eddie, like yeah, necessarily no safe. No. Oh, Eddie's safe. I don't think so. I don't think he's necessarily safe. I don't, I don't really think he'd take him, even if they had a man. You think? Mm, but okay. Okay, we'll what's the point in trying we'll to make? Well, I'm trying to... Because there was 14 seconds managers. last season, and I don't uh, think there's right. going to be as much as that last season, so I'm thinking... No, there probably will the certs that are not well, going anywhere? I just feel like... How many we're realistic going to get? No. Let's say we get 10 seconds. Yeah, Roy's You think Roy's top 100%. five? First five well, maybe, to go? Uh, might not be five, but he's 100% against that. You said he was one of the first managers to go. Oh, yeah. Well, so first five? I think I think around Christmas... 20 quid, mate. All right. Let's have it. Let's have it. 20 quid, he's not in the top first five. All right. All right, good man. Um, and it, staying, illness right? doesn't count as well if he's like ill they, that's They're not sta- sacking honestly last, last season they just had a new manager bounce and he was flying I thought oh yeah. boy is the boy but looking at it now nah, they're stale fun, yeah well a lot of teams are stale right guys thanks for watching make sure you like and subscribe because we love to have you as usual there's a few links in the description you've got fantasy premier league you've got premier league predictions Get in there, got join the, the fun. Shop. We've got the merch go shop go buy yourself a, a heads and bodies hat yeah that's it join and yeah have some fun treat yourself Um, and we shall see you in the next one see you later cheers cheers